Hi, this is Terry Vanoy, and welcome into my online classroom. This is Math with Mr. V. I want you to remember that while you watch these videos, these lesson videos, I am going to talk you through the concepts and then present a problem for you to try. So grab a piece of paper and you can pause, rewind, even fast forward anytime you'd like. So good luck. Let me know how it goes. Algebra expressions like you see here are called polynomials and the first thing we need to talk about when we're looking at polynomials is terms. This one has three terms because I have a 2x term, a negative 3x squared term, and an 8 term. Therefore it's called a trinomial. Tri means three. Now the idea is to put this in standard form which means I have to look at the exponents of the variable parts and put it in order, the highest exponent first. So if I put this polynomial in standard form, the negative 3x squared would come first, and then the 2x, because the x is really to the first power, and then the 8. The number that's all by itself, that's at the end in standard form, is called a constant. The degree of the polynomial is based on the highest exponent of every term. In this case, it's a second power, and so it is a second degree polynomial. All right, try these. For each of these polynomials you see here, rewrite them in standard form and tell me what degree they are. Go ahead and hit pause on this video and give it a video and give it this first polynomial has four terms. We have a negative 3x squared term, an x to the fourth term, a negative 3x to the third term, and a negative 8. That's a four-term polynomial. Now I look at the powers, and I notice there's a second power, a fourth power, a third power, and no power or even an x term at all. So I want to put those in order. x to the fourth would come first, minus 3x to the third would come next, minus 3x squared would be next, and the negative 8 at the end. What is the degree? This is a fourth degree polynomial because of the exponent on the highest exponent. On the right, what is the highest power? Yes, x to the fourth. So that term would come first, negative 5x to the fourth, and then what's next? The 2x to the third, and then the 2x, and then the 3. Remember that the 3 here is a constant. The negative 8 here is a constant in the first polynomial. This is also a fourth degree polynomial. All right, how'd you do? Hopefully you understood the concepts. Um, remember that um, if you want a related video or a concept that's similar and or just extra practice, email me and let me know. I can record a new one for you and we can customize it. Once again, this is Terry Vanoy in my online classroom with Math with Mr. V.